What's going on, Nation? I'm here with Dave from Pump Savages and Eric from Anabolic Aliens. And we're gonna have a little, a little table discussion talking about workout playlist guilty pleasures and what gets you pumped. Because I think that music is a really big part of what helps me push through a lot of my workouts. I mean, I've actually, believe it or not, I was a DJ once upon a time for like eight years. DJ Scott Be Yates. <laughs> believe it or not, you know? And it was a sweet gig too. Me and my best friend Joe, we did every Sweet 16 party. We did our own sophomore semi and junior prom. Like we had a pretty good time. I was like, burp, 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 and I was way better than DJs now, out nowadays. So when you guys go to the gym, what's like the, your go-to music when you need to go do a lift. And for me, when I get to myself, like I have different modes or different genres I like to listen to depending on what I'm doing. I like hip hop sometimes, and then sometimes I like screamo, metal, crazy stuff. So I'll go in and my iPod mostly has all the hip hop stuff on it because that's what I was into when I was younger. So it's still on there, so I'll use that as default. But sometimes I'm feeling brave and I go on my uh, Spotify playlist and then it's the heavy metal I'm screaming. The only downside is the commercials. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're in the middle of a lift and a commercial pops on. It's Three be in a row the other day. I didn't even think that was possible when it happened. <laughs> I was like, come on! <laughs> what about you, Dave? My favorite, uh, I just have to say hardcore, depending on the day and my current mood. For the most part, I like going in, listening to some screamo hardcore, get me pumped up. All depends on the mood, though. Sometimes I'll listen to hip hop, sometimes I'll listen to techno, some house music. It all depends. Dude, like I can't listen to to hip hop anymore when I lift, unless it's like kidding, yeah. unless it's like '90s. There are some like some old rap, like Little John. When you roll up in the club Just, and the boys wanna thug, you don't. You know what I mean? Like that's I'm like, stuff. yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna that's do? Shit. Stuff. You know? You're like, get, I'm getting pumped now. I'm gonna lift some weights. No, not gonna lie. Uh, I had a playlist for a while that was like heroic music. So it was like that symphony stuff, like you see like in Lord of the Rings, where like dudes chopping someone's head off, and you're like feeling like the man, like you're saving the world one curl at a time. Like I've done that. It's great. Like sometimes, like you wanna feel like you're Batman or something like that. Like a little role play action in the gym. There it's kind of weird, but whatever. I feel like for me, I've had the same workout. I hate to admit it, the same workout playlist, like rock music, for the last probably ten years. Yeah. Um, and it's mainly, I mean, it's all good stuff. It's corn, Limp Bizkit, um, Chevelle, Red, P.O.D. Um, Stain. They, Stain, yeah, Stain's on there, Godsmack. Yeah. All, all, all these songs that I started listening to when I first started lifting, Disturbs on there. And for me, I feel like when these songs come on, they kind of bring me back. A lot of you guys ask how I stay motivated, because it's hard to stay, I've been working out for like ever, you know, like almost 20 years now. Since the Maybe like 16 years. Since <laughs> yeah, since Popped the Popped out, mom, give Popped me a dumbbell, out. now. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, you know, when I put these songs in, it brings me back to that mentality of, you know, when I put on Godsmack, or you guys probably don't know this band, Orgy, they have the CD Candy Ass, it was my first, workout CD that I had in my basement, like on repeat for hours because that's all I had. You know? Yep. Lifted my crappy weights in my dungeon basement with cobwebs and spider webs. All I knew how to do was bench and curl. Like that's all I thought there was to lifting. Just hit the bench, do some curls, you know? Like that's it, you know? And that's that kind of gets me inspired. And also, when I'm lifting too, like, cause I know my playlist so well, I can time my lifts. Yep. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go after a heavy lift, my number one song that just gets me like crazy is Slipknot, Psychosocial. And as soon as that song comes on, it's like it's like it feels. I, I know what it feels like to turn Super Saiyan. Like I feel this like hair goes. I feel like this energy. No, seriously, I feel this energy build up inside me as the as the beat starts to go, yeah. and then it just shoots up my spine and gets into my head. But dude, that gets me pumped. You know, you need that music that gets you pumped. Yep. What are your favorite bands? Listen to uh, Power Trip, Search, um, Hammer Bros, Minus, really good band, Mudvayne. Yeah, Metallica. That's on my list. Metallica's a classic. Nirvana, um, Nirvana of course. You know what's funny? You just reminded me of something. So me and Erica are in the car with Crystal and they had on like a Nirvana um, block party. And I'm like, Crystal, listen to this song. This is a really good band. I turn it up, it's like, rape me. It's like, ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Wrong uh, song to turn up. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, listen to it anyways, it's good music. <laughs> but I have to say, I do have a confession. 
Miss Jackson, my Ocast. That's your guilty pleasure song. My guilty pleasure song. Everyone's got one. We all have guilty pleasures. Like, admit it. And if you're if you're a '90s child, I'm sure any like NSYNC or Backstreet Boys <laughs> song comes on, you'll be in the gym listening to your music, and then you'll you like it'll be like the song changes, and you hear NSYNC or Backstreet Boys, and you just like pause your own music, and pretend like you did it. Rip your like, headphones yeah. out, throw your phone. No, but then you got those wicked corny songs that come on, and they make you feel really good, even though they're not that you know hardcore or whatever. Like for example, uh, Mike's gonna hate me for this right now. But his favorite. <laughs> Song, but he admitted to me in the car. We were driving home from Scotts one day, and he's like, I just really like this song. Blast it. What is it? Taylor Swift, Blank Space. <laughs> he's like, Dude, I'll work out to this song. It's super motivating. I'm like, Okay, whatever. I don't judge because personally, uh, the song Battleships by Chris Dodge, he's like, Boom, boom, boom. I like, Boom, 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 boom. Like, <laughs> pump it up. Super hardcore. And then I got other songs like Champion by Nelly, which is like, You're the champ. Of the world. It's like you're just in the gym, like doing bench press. You're not really, you know, saving anybody. I just think that there's certain tones within melodies that just hit a spot in you. And it doesn't really matter what the song is or what it's about or what they're saying even half the time. I just think that there's certain I mean we've seen this all throughout history that you know sound waves can do some pretty interesting things and I just think that certain sound waves cause you to feel a certain way. Like for me, I like um Maroon 5, She Will Be Loved. For whatever reason, that song, the way it chills. Yeah, like it just, it gets, it just, I don't know if it gives me the most intense lifts, but I can listen to it while I lift or while I go for a run and it kind of just like brightens me up, you know, and it makes me run harder. I actually did a video a long time ago to that song by the Veronicas, Untouched, I think it's called, is the name of that song? And I, I like ran on a treadmill <laughs> listening to the song. And every time this, uh, the song picked up, I had the treadmill on full blast for like six minutes. And I, it just helped me get through it. I'll post a link to that video. It's actually a pretty cool video. But we you know we all have our guilty pleasures. <laughs> yeah. And we want to know what your what guilty pleasures are. Yeah, yeah, like we want to see like the, the most interesting below. guilty pleasures in the info <laughs> section below, man. <laughs> or take a picture and put it on Instagram of your actual playlist and prove it. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it. Prove it, Nation. <laughs> prove it. What we want to do now is go work out to our guilty pleasures and then we're going to do another video. If you guys want to check it out, go to muscularstrength.com. I'll put a link in the info section below talking about the college dining hall survival guide. So some college gains while having to deal with that super cruddy food. Thank you for Fair gains. So up yeah. Yeah. and you know sharing with them your, your guilty sharing pleasure. Sharing with you guys. You know everything about me now. Yeah. Yep. Don't make fun of me. You know the deepest, darkest secrets. Be sure to check out that College Gains video. And as always, more good stuff coming soon.